Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Flesh, Blood, and Concrete. A horror game where you enter an apartment full of flesh and end up meeting a completely trustable young girl. A dull throb with sounds in my skull. The world outside my car window has vanished, replaced with an impenetrable field of white. Covered in snow, this strange town becomes interchangeable with the one from my childhood. The uniform matchbox building turns into an array of white squares. I grew up several thousand kilometers from here, but in the haze of the shapes grow to resemble the courtyards and parking lots of my earliest memories. These streets are alien and intimate. It's as warm as it is eerie. And my head feels like it's being crushed. I didn't realize how tired I was. I can't feel my hands, only the dull pain and biting wind. Too weak to grip the steering wheel any longer, I let go. The car jerks off the road with the last few drops of gas. Monoliths rise out of the haze. Every landmark is unrecognizable. My eyes want to shut. I don't want them to. Nausea crawls up from my stomach and sells in my throat. I want to vomit up my soul. I guess we'll open up the window. My hand ignores my racing mind and lies limp on the steering wheel. Not yet. Don't want to die. I'm scared. Not yet. Interesting. That's a it's an interesting intro. Artifacts? Hmm. You why are you trying to talk to me? Oh wow, okay, sure. Leave me alone. Nice people. Uh does no one question this? There's something over there. Fuck off, then. No one asked you to be here. Well, you know. This world is what it is. I'm weak to biting cold. I'm still alive, then. The door's frozen shut. I wonder if I'll suffocate in this car. Ah, oh, never mind. Now we're an adult. Yep. Man, this is a... This is a pretty game. Pretty in a sad... Hello? Pretty in like a sad way. Not as in like, it's extremely depressing, but there's a certain element. It's got a little bit of an atmosphere. Sitting between the dead apartment blocks and empty streets is a young girl. Methodically building a snowman with rowanberry eyes and pinecone nose. Her intensely focused gaze makes me hesitate to call out to her. She doesn't seem to notice me at all. The first thing I notice is that her hands, now red with frost, are bare. It must be painful to sculpt snow like that. The second thing is that her school uniform is several decades out of place, and furthermore, simply unfit for the middle of a snowstorm. She looks like an anime maid. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you running? Damn it. I wonder why she was so scared of me. The keypad that locks the door has been completely smashed. This building must be abandoned. Mailboxes aren't in bad shape. Whoops. Go this way. There's no reason for me to go deeper into the building right now. Yeah, see what I mean? I guess you could say it's grimy. It's got like a grimy style to it. Damn, it's dusty in here. There's also a door that's flying in the sky. Some architect must have really messed up. I feel bad for the family that had to live in that room. Good against a uh, zombie invasion. <laughs> the mirror is cracked to the point where I can barely recognize my own face. Thank God. The window between this room and the next is broken. If I have to, I might be able to squeeze through it. Climb through the next room? Not yet. Yeah, the door isn't opening. Looks like the lock is broken. Yep, we're going. In front of me stands the same girl I saw outside. Now intently focused on the pond in front of her as wisps of steam escape from under its lid. The noise from me climbing through the window doesn't even faze her. Hi. Um, sorry I didn't mean to be here. When I was younger I burned my hand on the stove like this one, and the spiral stuff is scar on my palm. 
Idiot. I should have branded myself with something cooler. Some objects can be collected too. Try taking the garlic to the left of the door and then check inventory with escape. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh no good at all. Oops. Uh, hello. I didn't mean to. How did you get in here? Uh, I'm not stealing anything. My car ran out of gasoline. I'm looking for a gas station. Gas station? We don't have something like that here. Are your parents home? Can I talk to them? Hmm, I can talk to them. Some items will unlock extra dialogue in rooms. Glass jar, full of gasoline or anything else. Don't take it out of this place. You may have to force to bring it. The garlic is a soul of any dish. If recipe calls for one clove of garlic, you should put in three. More like six. Most display cases of cabinet drawers can be opened. Try opening the cabinet. There's an old photograph in the drawers. Take it. Picture of you. It's an old photograph of you. Hmm. The display case is stuffed with the same thick black hair that coats the wall and ceiling. Something red and power-like has formed in the bed. It might be rust or some kind of mold. There's a stack of papers on the floor. Take them. Fix strands of hair from the ceiling. Strings of numbers. Well, at least we can go in and out now. Very curious building. Very curious building indeed. Hey, free stuff. My old cell ball lies in the corner of the room. Take it, yes. Is this room part of your family's apartment as well? Why are there so many beds and organs? The entire building is my house. I'm the luckiest. Really? So it's abandoned. It's completely falling apart. I'm amazed that you even get running water here. It's not falling anywhere. It's staying right here. I can see that. Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm playing trampoline. Is it fun? Yeah, so did you want to sleep in this bed? You must be really tired. You came from so far away. If you want to rest here, I know my family wouldn't mind at all. That's fine. I've been sleeping in my car. Is that cozy? No. Everything smells like exhaust. Then why do you sleep there? Because I've lost control of my life. I don't have anywhere else to sleep. Well, I have a really cozy bed. It has a canopy. And it's all mine. And that must be pretty nice. A bathtub's full of water. Has someone been using it recently? The water in the bath is clear and lukewarm. Some water stripping on the bathroom sink. So... Hmm. What else should I accomplish? Explore deeper in here? Oh, watch out! You're, you're anime clumsy. Oof! Are you okay? Yep, yep. I'm okay. Are you following me? Can you go ask your parents where I could find a gas station? I'm not following you. Of course not. I'm just walking around myself. Uh, okay. I just want to get trapped here. So I'd like to find some way to fix my car. You're gonna leave? Of course. Oh, I never asked you your name. I'm Nika. Nika. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Lyra. Lyra? Just Lyra? I can really call you that. Yeah, you're gonna ask your family about the gasoline now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What a bizarre girl. She acts as if she's living in a completely ordinary place. I suppose that's kind of comforting. Looks normal. I wonder how long this television set has been sitting here. Breathing stag to no one. Oh, this is a VHS player, isn't it? If I find any VHS tapes, I'll be able to play them here. We just tape lying in the bed. And there's one right there. What a picturesque scene. Looks like it's been pulled out of a children's movie. It smells like someone's been sauteing garlic. 
We're chopping pots and pans. He said the refrigerator is clean, and the only thing inside is a pristine carton of milk. And my soul, no. I've always hated the taste of milk. The location doesn't make this carton any more appetizing. Interesting. It's a little bit of like a take on the whole, uh, take out everything you are fine. The sky outside the window is unfamiliar. The snow that blanketed the ground this morning must have quickly melted. Ah, oh, never mind. Just a photograph printed on the flat paper. So you're in here. Well, let's look around before I talk to you. But you're also in here. Hmm. Get over tape. Mushroom, mushroom? Something organic must be beneath these sheets. I have no desire to find out what it is, so. There's a small coin on top of the table. Take it. Yeah. I cross stitch it in a frame is lying on the floor. It must have fallen off the wall. Take it. We're just taking everything. Two dolls in the shelf. Take them. Take those too. Why not? The bread is stale and coated with strands of hair. Take a piece of that bread! The preserved bird skeleton lies in the drawer. Take it. Yeah, take the preserved bird skeleton! <laughs> these, all these items, these, these items will all be useful at some point. I crossed it to the kid sleeping. I'm sure I thought this was my grandmother's one room apartment once, many years ago. These dolls are commonplace in tourist shops. The facial features of these two are absent. A ball of soda that's been partially drunk. It's probably left here by some hooligan. A little universe has come to life in this slice of bread. A film from the 1920s preserved on VHS cassette tape. The sparrow skeleton has been immaculately preserved, but it has been torn off. An old American coin. I collected coins when I was a child, it's used by the ability to connect me to centuries of strangers. Oh, the bread is twitching. It's infested with bugs. Maybe. So what is this place? Where does your family live? We live all over the place. Uh, are you squatters or something like that? I don't know what that means, but this is my house. Are you... Are you mold? And everyone is always welcome here, too. Especially you, because you're so nice. You don't even know me, though. You're not supposed to trust strangers. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Everyone is a stranger sometimes. If you don't know strangers, you don't know anyone. I think I've been in this room before. Maybe it was in a childhood fever dream. It's comforting. What else can I take? VHS tape. Needs to scrap a burnt paper lies in the drawer. Take it. Yes. Take everything. A box of Marn cigarettes lies on the bed. Half grown onions sits in a jar of water. Take that. Some camp food sits on the table. Oh, we're gonna need that. It's a miracle that no one has torn the piping out of the walls. I have myself a pretty penny, you know. It said that in the years past, poems would be copied in a piece of sheets of scrap paper and burned quietly before those words could incriminate their writer. A thankless ritual. That scrap is completely illegible. Most desirable type of canned food, a slab of meat. At least the word meat is written on the can. It's gray in color and extremely salty. It's from a 1998 home movie. New cigarettes is unopened, so any teacher would consider this a treasure. There's a pulsive image of a rotting mouth in the front of it. Onion in progress, in a few months you can basically grow an onion in a jar of water. You can also buy one from the supermarket in seconds. Do you want some bread? Or tea? Uh, I think I'll pass. Really? Really? Yeah, I'm not that hungry. I'm pretty much of a tea drinker. You aren't hungry, but you drove all the way here from the capital. That's really far away. Accept her offer. Well, if you insist, I'd feel bad saying no. Wait here. I want to test something. If it's poison, hopefully it kills me painlessly. Here you go. It's a honey cake. I've been saving for a long time. For so long that I almost ate it myself. Thank you. But why were you saving in the first place? I've read in a book that it's more fulfilling when you give food to someone else, instead of eating it yourself. 
but I don't feel fulfilled at all. I'm still hungry. Do you want it back? I don't need it. No, maybe I'll be fulfilled when you eat it. I'm not quite sure where this game is going, but it seems like we've been here before. Well, it's like an obligation of memories. Oh, I didn't kick that smells of rye and sweet condensed milk. It's coated with a thin layer of dust and seems to be a bit stale. But it's probably still okay to eat. Oh, am I on your way? Yes. Am I on your way again? Yes. Teacup lies in the drawer. Take the teacup. Why was it in the display case? Precious cup. Elegant teacup made of porcelain. A family's most prized possession. It's not for drinking tea, but for keeping a display case so that spiders can nest in it. I guess the items aren't going to be directly used. They're more of lore story things. As weird as that is. Last room. Yellow walls. The dimly flickering light. The intricately woven carpet. This is the room I grew up in. At least it could be. Ah, oh, raw meat. There's an unopened pack of cigarettes lying on the bed. Take that. The coffee has cream in it. But it hasn't spoiled. In fact, it's been perfectly preserved as if snatched out my memory. The real scary thing is how big are our pockets? It's one of the drawers lies a small porcelain figurine. Take it. Television lets out slow, muffled breaths. An old ball of cola lies on the countertop. Take it. The only thing we'll never take in the game is milk. We really detest milk. <laughs> old cola. Looks like it's 30 years old, so let's take a few sips of it. They aren't emblazoned with photos of corpses or friending texts, so they must be antique. Porcelain figure, a figure from the 60s, that's based off an old fairy tale, a scarlet flower. I think we're doing this floor. Third floor. Curiouser and curiouser. A neon soda ball lies in the corner of the room. I mean, it makes sense, because they're all called artifacts. A stale soda ball filled with neon green liquid. But how many times my mother told me that it would poison me? I was entranced by its green glow. Now the bond from street vendors. There's a blood here. Trying to get those Yubi Nikki vibes now. It's a preschool primer, take it. Some hooligan must have placed this here. I'm glad it has to start to rot. Prized possessions line the shelves of the display case, books, porcelain, glass figures, and family photos. Oh, I got some light. And there was a pig head here. What is going on with this? It's moldy. In fact, there's so much mold that a new species of mold has probably been created. There's nothing but spider webs in the display case. An icon lies in the drawer. Take it. Hello there. What's in that lump on the bed? I found out where to get the gasoline for you. Ah, uh, thank you. There's a room on the fourth floor. It's locked, but I got the key for you. Especially, here it is. That was nice of you. Of course. I'm always supposed to be kind to guests. Who tells you to do that? My family does. Do you need me to show you the room? I think I'll find out my own. The lump. The lump. Let's see. A ubiquitous and unassuming alphabet book. It looks just like the one I learned from. The bright illustrations of an unfamiliar kind of world. A gold plane painting of a 20th century saint whose birth was foretold by a dream of a white bird of a human face and empty eye sockets. In life, her prayers were a cross shaped hole in her forehead. In our tape. On. There's something tethered to the ceiling. No, someone. A desiccated corpse. Being digested in slow motion with a mass of flesh that surrounds it. I want to run. To avert my eyes. But I'm locked to this place. My eyes fixed to the mangled thing in front of me. I have to leave. No, go back in. Caramel batteries lies on the drawers. Take it. I don't want to look. 
What a wonderful feast. There's meat in there too, isn't there? Okay. So what's this room about? I wanted to build a rocket like this when I was a kid. I thought that movement might be friendly to me than the ones on Earth. You're following me around again. I told you not to. I'm not. I'm not following you around. You're following me around. You've been trailing behind me since I came here. It's goddamn creepy, you know. This place is bad enough as it is. I wanted to make sure you wouldn't get lost. Lots of people come here and get lost. You know, I didn't want you to get stuck somewhere weird. I didn't realize. Old people never realize anything at all. Huh. Mm. Well, this title is very literal. There's flesh, blood, and concrete. Yep. You're still following me around. Don't you have something else to do? Hey, hey, Lyra. You drove all the way from the capital here, right? Yeah. Were you scared of being alone? No, I didn't expect to make it this far, to be honest. Why? Well, I thought I'd die. In a snowdrift or something. Why did you decide to start traveling, then? Well, I thought it'd be nice to disappear quietly. No one disappears, Lyra. We exist in the fabric of Uffer's memories forever. Did I say something bad? Curious, sir. Curious, sir. Does picture perfect ephemera belong to anyone at all? This paper's lying on the floor. Look at these new papers. Blueprints. When I was younger, I dreamed of building solar powered utopias. The last project I worked on was a shopping mall. It turned out that the mold's helping us. The mold knew of our problems and decided to help us out, to comfort us. Neon soda. More neon soda. Several steel bearings lie on the blanket. Door's firmly stuck shut, and I'm just not sure I want to open if I could. This is gasoline. Look at the liquid, yes. The liquid seeps out of the pipe, filling a jar with a disgusting muck. These dough balls were one of the most sought after items when I was a kid. You could trade them for anything. Pieces of candy or the exotic corks of perfume bottles. Rooftop. What's going on up here? These stars. These are the same stars that you've been watching, right? See, even before you came here, we were looking at the same sky. I'm not allowed to leave, because it's dangerous outside. But the stars are the same. I've connected with everyone through this endless sky. I wish I could be friends with everyone who looks at these stars. I've never seen so many stars at night. In the city. The light pollution blocks them out. I didn't know that. We see the same moon, though. Everyone watches the moon change with me. All around the world. When I grow up, I'm gonna go to the moon and everyone will see me, and I'll see everyone on Earth. When I was your age, I wanted to be a cosmonaut, too. I wanted to watch the sunrise from space. It's supposed to be breathtaking. Why'd you change your mind? Space travel isn't profitable anymore. Oh. Well, I don't care about that. I'm gonna sell moon rocks. People pay a lot of money for those. That's a smart idea. You'll buy some for me, right? I'll save one for you. A big one, a pretty one. Of course. I wonder if it's like an ending based on our uh, answers. Because we've basically had uh, friendly answers and then um, negative answers. Okay. Let's... Are the stairs I walked up? No, it's something wrong with how they feel. I'm not, it's not concrete or stone. It feels organic, like lever. I want to vomit. These are band posters. I could find any teenager's bedroom. But I can't read any of the words. 
I recognize the letters, but the words are alien. The faces are in a slurry, too. Three eyes, no mouth, an upside-down nose. It's a bizarre simulacrum of humanity. What kind of place is this? Oh man, what am I supposed to do now? Go back. It's not real, of course not. It's not another thing Korea to taunt me. It's another thing, rather. Not another. Oh god! Yes. The walls are reshuffling themselves. I'll never be crushed between them. Let me spare a stay in one place so that I can get over with. Nope. Remember when I said this was a horror game? Pepperidge Farm remembers. That one over there is a little more anime than the others. These should be ordinary faces. All the parts are there. Dude, there's something about them that revolts me. This can't be happening. I've been in this room before. It's different now. Oh! It'll be funny, because this might be a multi-ending game, if being nice is like the bad ending. You're supposed to like, not be nice, it's all a trap. God, we're going for so many different visuals at once, it's actually pretty amazing. I'm back here again. Gallery. I'm sorry. What happened to, like, the nice maid? I was just, like, on the roof saying, it's be nice if everyone just, you know, like, went to the moon and stuff. Oh! Paula's smiley face. The basement. Take the right door. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never school? Did even my inventory matter? Not really. Yep, reality's cracking. The mouth. Like, look how many, like, different areas we've gone through. We're just, like, being hit. Like, constantly. I tried so hard, but... That's some meat. Do I wanna go in there? That's not a door. It's a ladder. The supermarket. Uh... Hey, what's going on here? What the fuck did you do to me? I tried to talk to you. The room's torn. Changing. Like they were trying to trap me. You're still here, Lyra. I heard the concrete moving when you left. I thought... Why are you so calm? I'm glad you're safe. I want to talk to you again. Did you find the gas Olean you were talking about earlier? Hmm. Gas Olean. You don't know a few other words. Yes. Do you want me to lead you back to your car? Yes. Let's walk outside together. Okay. Okay, we're fine. It's good. I think these stairs will take us back to your car outside. They're not the same ones I took to get here. Does one door lead to two stairwells? You know, fine, just don't answer that. It's hard to tell. They change around sometimes. Can you tell when they're about to change? A little. I'm supposed to be careful and stay out of the way. What happens if you get in the way if it when it changes? 
Um, let's head outside before it starts to rain. Um, it's supposed to rain today. We're almost outside. It started making sense once you came with me. What is that? Before, the room seemed to fold back on each other. That's a secret. You're part of it, aren't you? You're made of the same thing as the pulsing meat. I don't know why, but I thought you were just a normal kid when I first saw you. Are you a normal person? I don't know. I didn't think you were a normal person, because most people don't want to be my friend. Lots of them are mean to me. They yell and scream and try to hit me. Ouch. I'll really, really miss you, Lara. Will you write me lots of letters? I'll try to. I'm so excited. I wonder if this is hell. I thought my brain had created an allegation of my childhood, of television, of grandmother's apartment. Who are you then? When I step outside, you'll disappear, won't you? Don't be silly. I'm staying here. Here we are. This is where you came in, right? It is. I can't believe it. That means you're leaving for real this time. I'll miss you really badly. You won't forget about me, right? Promise? Uh, it's gonna be kinda hard to forget all that... meat walls. Wait. Wait, please don't cry. You don't need to cry. I promise. Only if you promise you'll remember me. Promise. I promise. It's definitely going to be... Okay, right? Bye-bye. Goodbye, Nika. Am I on your way? Yes. You just see that option is there. Uh, my car is... Tree. The rest of the hunk of metal in front of me barely resembles the vehicle I drove here in. It can't be the same car, of course. I was only gone for half a day at most. A tree has already grown from the wreckage and died, leaving its brittle branches escaping from the windows. <laughs> of course. Driving out of a world made of flesh and returned to my mundane every day. That would be funny. So, yeah, my car. Lyra, you didn't leave yet. You came back already. I don't think I can leave anymore. Don't be silly, silly. So you'll stay? Just for a little bit? Uh, yes. Yay. Do you want to meet my family? They would love to see you. I'm really super sure. If you're afraid of getting lost, I can take you there. Because I know everything about my home. You're going in an interesting direction. Curious as away from the current building we're in. Um, is there a face in that window? Hmm. I feel like a mouse being toyed with by an invisible cat. Or something like that. Yet there's something coming about having no agency in your own life. Be completely at the mercy of fate, free of any guilt. Hmm. So they're now we're both here. Oh, this room is really gross. It smells like pickles. There has been a lot of pickles around, which is a little curious too. No, it smells like rotting meat. How much time are you going to give me before I end up like that corpse? I'm not in charge of your death, silly. Hmm. It's cold outside, but it's warm and cozy in here, right? I'm surprised that the heating system still works. Of course, everything here is alive, and living things are warm. You must be hungry, right? I brought a snack. Is it rotten? Nope. Everything you've given me has mold and stuff in it. I, I'm really not sure if this is a good idea. 
With an outstretched hand, she hands me a gingerbread cookie coated in powdered sugar. I take it from her and break off a piece. It's warm, soft. There's no blood. No misplaced anew. It tastes like a gingerbread. She fixes her eyes on me. I avoid her gaze. You ate it. Do you trust me? I don't care if I die anymore. That's wrong. I look at her quizzically, silently. Every night I climb to the roof to watch the sunset. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's golden, sometimes it's crimson, when the smog makes it so. I want to know what color it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be green, maybe blue. What I want to tell you, Lara, is that you don't want to die. You only want to escape from suffering. You want to return to the womb. Endless happiness without interruption. Um... That's a fantasy. To live is to suffer, or to accept the possibility of future suffering. That only becomes true when you push yourself away from others. Hey, Lara. You're really scared of me now, aren't you? I really just want you to be happy. Tears cluster around her eyelashes. Her face is still red from before. You're a good person, so I want you to be happy. I'm sorry for being scary. She begins to wipe her tears with her sleeve, avoiding eye contact with me. What I am to say, what I want to comfort this thing that wants me dead. I'm not scared of you, Nika. You're lying. With that, she stands up and faces the other end of the dim hallway. Her face is still speckled with tears. The dark container paints lines on the floor. Take that. Still taking stuff. When I grow up, I'll be on posters and magazine cutouts too. How are you going to achieve that? Well, I'll be really pretty and smart, and work super hard and be nice to everyone. Do you think that'll be enough? Why are you ruining my dreams? Because, um... Because you don't have any of your own? That's... That's way too far. You can still pick something to believe in. You said you didn't have a future, but you can't... But can't you dream of anything still? I don't have a future because I'm dying in a labyrinth of my own hallucinations, kid. I'm sorry. Don't leave, please. I'm really sorry. Broken balls and needles. Do you teenagers from the city hang out here? Yep, but I haven't seen them in a long time. Um, Let's not go in that room. Oh, plants. There was an abandoned block of old apartments on the end of the street that my parents lived on. And I spent every day in those empty rooms. These rooms are the same, you know. I mean, do you know? Do you know why you're regurgitating my memories? Regurgitating? I don't know that, but I know lots of other things. Lyra, do you like this place? They made it for you. Is that what you're talking about? Made for me, huh? How lovely. A little cocoon of my happy times. Why'd you ruin of all this meat? Good question. <laughs> Look, Porkland figurines, aren't they pretty? Who left them there? I'm sure my family wouldn't mind if you took one. You can bring it home so you can remember me. I don't think I'll live long enough to forget you. Paints. Ma cheaply made watercolor paints for children. I used to love painting in elementary school, but as soon as I realized I was talentless, it lost all its glamour. Hey, Lyra. Are you afraid to die? I'm afraid of apartments made out of meat. Yes, I'm terrified of it. I think... That's probably why I started driving. I thought that I'd be able to quietly disappear this way. Be swallowed up by a snowdrift and be gone. Cleanly. But let's see. I couldn't accept that I fit a death. Are you afraid of it? My family told me that I won't die. Because they love me. I learned about ants. An ant colony. It's one single being. When an ant dies, the others eat its shell. The being continues living indefinitely. That ant's eye is dissolved and is used to build the eye of a newborn ant. The whole being is an immortal because of those strong connections. That powerful love. So immortality is only achievable through cannibalism. What a funny story. It's just a metaphor. Do you like it? I like a better metaphor. Don't you think it would be nice to live indefinitely without fear or want? Like that ant. Reassimilate into a larger being over and over until the end of time. It's peaceful. Like that body we saw earlier that was assimilating into the wall. Someone ripped the buttons off the control panel. That's okay. 
you'll understand where we're going. We're here. Well, this is a little nicer than the other level. Hey, Lyra. You ever made lollipops? Those look like little roosters? Not recently, no. My mother made them for me and my siblings when we were kids. Why? Because I saw them in the book and I really wanted to try them. But I had no idea how to make them. Do you know how? It's just sugar, water, and mold. I think so, yes. A mold, rather. <laughs> I have mold in the mind because we keep seeing it. Then you'll show me how to do it later? I can try. Do you promise? Yes. Did you know, decaying organic material is a great fertilizer for flowers. Funny you should bring that up randomly. Hmm, that's not surprising. But I wonder where you learned a phrase like decaying organic material. I guess it's a little comforting to know that our corpses can sustain gardens for generations. Everything is connected. Your body rots into a bouquet. And a Venus flytrap is only a beautiful shade of green because of the insects that feed it. That connection isn't wrong, is it? It's not wrong for a flower to eat a body. Without giving your flesh, the world would turn lifeless. That's your defense. I see. I guess a plant that eats flies is no more believable than a building that eats humans, right? That's the idea. Her words are completely deranged, but I find them comforting somehow. Tadlin was lucky to be able to dream. I mean, can you imagine it? Four meters of steel and glass towering over Petersburg, and beaming messages in the clouds. And yet, 1920 it seemed reasonable. When I started university, I thought I could be like him, dreaming up utopian megastructures for a new era. You're still alive, Lara. You still have time to become part of something greater. You mean... dirt? The mold thing makes more sense now. It's not just like... mold is... We saw, you know, mold used in Resident Evil recently. But it's part of the whole cycle of life, like things decay, mold takes them and stuff like that. And then, you know, it becomes one of nature. All right, what about this room? What's this room have to do with nature? Meat. No meat. Hmm. Let's go. Is that a meat piano in a former swimming pool? Now it's more of a pond. Kind of nice, though. Look, look, look. This is my swimming pool. Isn't it amazing? It's, a, it's amazing in a certain way. I would have loved to have a pool in the basement of my apartment building when I was a kid. It's a shame that all the water has evaporated, though. What do you do here? I like to play with the voices here. Whenever I say something, they say it back to me. Those are just the echoes, though. Aren't they? You can even hear them now. They are echoes, but I can play pretend with echoes. Doesn't that make you feel lonely? Sometimes someone comes here every other year. Sometimes someone comes once a decade. So, I'm used to being lonely. I try to leave. Well, I tried that 73 times. It doesn't work. I thought you said your family keeps you company. Because your connection is so strong. But it's different. They don't have arms and legs. Follow me, okay? I want to show you something special. I never expected to see a piano here. Who taught you how to play it? My family taught me. See? They're playing it with me. I can feel the keys move. Not under my fingers, but in sync with them. When I'm lonely, and I want to cry, and I'm sick of hearing my own voice, I play it. I feel their love wrapping around me. It's beautiful. People come and go and go and go, but my family will be here forever. Aren't you scared of being lonely? Aren't you scared of cold death and of the snow outside? 
Hey, Lyra, isn't the sound beautiful? Calling it sound is more accurate than music. The notes play with mathematical accuracy, discordant and empty, like my soul. But, she's right. It is beautiful. It makes me want to cry. The pulsing organs, throbbing in time with her tiny fingers, the white keys folding in seconds before she touches them. Something horrid could not produce such beauty. I want to be in symphony with it all. I want to be as harmonic, as loved, as held together as it. My brain hates my body. My soul is nowhere to be found. I'm a human being in fifteen discordant parts, all at war. Let's continue onwards. I have something else to show you. You're gonna have to work overtime to upstage a meat piano. Am I in your way? No. Nope. Nope. Equally nope. Are you excited? To meet your family? Yep, to be part of something greater. To never be hungry or scared. I'm excited for you too. Is this it? Hmm. Is this what you expected? It's about what I expected. I don't know. But it's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. I knew you'd realize how wonderful life can be. There are one billion lonely people all separated by their flimsy flesh. I wish everyone is able to be happy. I wish the epidermis would disappear. Outside, the snow is piled three feet high, and everyone is consumed with hatred. It's cold and loveless. That's why you came here, isn't it? To escape. Yes, but I'm still petrified my death. You won't die. You'll return to the burialless existence preceding birth. It will be painful. No. Are you still scared? No. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Can you see a ladder? It'll take you forward. The ladder disintegrates into the smoky darkness below. Metal rungs crumble to marbled meat. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's incredibly beautiful. It's the only way I can describe it. The ladder is sturdy. It grew here for me. I can tell. The sky is so beautiful. I'm glad I'm alive to see such a beautiful sunset. A sunset of viscera, with a peachy hue of apatose tissue, and the pink of heartstrings. The fibers, you know the hands, reach out and cradle me. I never thought there would be something so wondrous in this wanton world. As I descend, the last glimpse of brick fades into soft, loving, infinite meat. Thank you. Thank you for showing me this beautiful world. Is it over? I'm so happy. Huh. A memory. You're so lucky, Lara. You have a perfect life, perfect family, a perfect home. Are you going to come play with us, Lyra? You have to. You said you would yesterday, so don't go. These memories seem too happy. It's a lie. There's meat in there. I see it. There you are, sweetheart. I've been looking everywhere for you. Are you having fun with your friends? Yes. I'm so happy to hear that. I came to get you because dinner is ready. The whole family is waiting for you. What are we having for dinner? It's a surprise, but I know you'll like it. Let's go. Is it meat? Happy end. Thank you for playing. Didn't say true end. How did you find me? I thought I hit really well. Why are you hiding in the first place? I thought you'd be angry with me. This game was only possible thanks to many kind of people who help with beta testing. Give you time and generosity. Oh, you shouldn't be scared. What is that's more frightening than loneliness? 
I want to see my family's can again. Are you afraid of happiness? Are you afraid that you'll realize that a better future was always possible than from you wasted time running away from it? Well, you can wait in this room for as long as you need to. Till I die of hunger. Yes, but first I'll kill you first. You have three or four days. You're making an invitation then. You're making a threat. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'll wait for you if you want to think. You kind of walked over the void. Okay. You weren't supposed to like go into the void. You're supposed to walk over there. I don't want to die without finding out what you are. I'm your friend, I think. You're nicer to me than anyone else who came here was. So I wanted to share my joy with you. You look so miserable and I... I thought you found it beautiful. Seeing your childhood bedroom, your grandmother's apartment, your first classroom, fragment of those forgotten happy days. I don't know if you understand, but there's nothing I can do. What? It doesn't matter if I cry and scream. The walls will never let you out. I'm not in control of anything here. I asked to leave this place one million times. I asked to meet people and make friends outside, but I can only bring people inside here. Are you telling the truth? I'm not lying. It's... you, you can't. Even if you find a way out of this room, the building will never let you go. Even if you find a way out of the building, the town will eat you whole. It will be painful, so pointless. Why would you choose that? Here there's a path forward to happiness. I'm ready to say goodbye to the world. It's not goodbye, it's hello. It's a beautiful infinite... Stop it. I don't believe you. I'm never going to believe you. I can't give up and disappear. I'd rather die being crushed between walls of concrete and sinew. You want to leave me alone here again? Again? I just want to live. It's not about that. I just want to live. To see tomorrow. No matter how painful or lonely it is. I'm not ready to say goodbye to the outside world. To getting stuck in traffic, catching a cold wind next to an annoying person in line. It hurts, you know. Look at this. The door that we walked through minutes ago is no more. The gap in the wall has been filled in with a solid mass of pulsing flesh. The only exit from this room is down to your happiness. Yet you rejected it. You want to starve alone in a lonely and loveless world. I want to keep on fighting. I can't give up and let myself disappear. I showed you beautiful things, wonderful things. I thought I'd make you happy. That glimpse of happiness I saw in the distorted reflections of my past reminded me that I want to go home. I want to see my family's cat. They're playing the snow again. It's all for that cat, man. Are you sure of this? You ever died trying to escape and let yourself be happy? Yes. I'm not allowed to do this. My family's going to be angry. She steps back into the wall meat and sinks her arms into the sinew, propping open a narrow passage with her body. I can't hold for this much longer. You should hurry. Why are you doing this? You're right, Lara. Your life, your precious, fragile life is yours alone. You won't find a way out of here. But it's better than accepting a fate you despise, isn't it? I'm going to be alone again. I'm going to miss you. No one was ever so nice to me before. I'm not from the same world as you, but it still hurts when people hit me. I felt for a moment that I had a friend, and that I'd become a normal girl who could go to school and have a pet kitty. It was nice. Thank you. Now go. You should hurry. It will close soon. Don't forget about me, okay? True, Anna. Thank you for playing. So, did we still die in the end, technically? So that's it for Flesh, Blood, and Concrete. So I believe that is all endings. I think there's only two endings, and how you treat the, uh, let's call her a bit of a meat avatar girl. How you treat her probably has to do with whether or not you have the capacity to get the true ending. Whether or not we survived the true ending or not, or if we just died on our own terms somewhere else, I can't necessarily say. So, there's different takes in this story depending on how literal you take it. You could take it literal as, you know, there's a giant meat parasite kind of hive mind colony thing that's kind of Lovecraftian and kind of weird. Or you can take it as, oh, it's hell and then uh, Lyra died, that she did not survive um, in the snow and the car must have maybe got off a cliff or who knows what happened. But it seems like the, the meat is real. It seems like a lot of the story kind of relies on the meat being an actual thing. 
Uh, I couldn't help but feel or be reminded of certain Nitro Plus visual novels. Had that kind of melancholic feel. Plus, you know, the meat walls and everything. Overall, I think this is very well done. At least visually, it's very well done. We, we went through a lot of different areas. We hit a lot of different things. The only part that I felt was a little bit cold was the true ending. The, the happy ending's fine. That, that's actually perfect for what that ending is supposed to be. The true ending, it's, it's such a hard cutoff after you escape. Maybe that's the point. Maybe it's a directorial choice based on the, uh, the themes of the story. And some of the transition between our uh, protag kind of accepting what this world is and not accepting and like kind of acknowledging like, yeah, this thing's gonna kill me. It was pretty quick. It was, it was a really kind of quick jump right there. But once again, I think it's overall fairly well done, RPG Maker Horror. Aside from this game, this creator does quite a bit of art. I didn't recognize it at first, but once I went to the Twitter profile, I actually did recognize the, uh, the artists primarily from their um, Chainsaw Man uh, fan art. They have, they have a style that's very good for that, uh, kind of matching the vibe of Chainsaw Man quite a bit. But you can go down in the description, you'll find uh, links to the, the game and their, you know, their information and everything like that. But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching Flesh, Blood, and Concrete. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.